book because uh, of a curious episode that happened to me on a U.S. highway. As a driver, I've always been what we would call an early merger, when there was an example of a work zone or construction where two lanes were going to become one. I always tried to merge as early as possible, do what the sign says, be polite about it. Uh, one day I got tired of watching all of these cars go past me in the lane that was going to be emptied, and as I was running a bit late, I jumped out of the queue, jumped all the way to the front, merged back in, saved several minutes, and then felt a little guilty about it, so then I started looking into it and found that uh, actually what I had done, which I thought was the wrong thing to do, would actually produce something like a 15% increase in traffic flow if everyone just stayed in that empty lane until the merge point, which is something that a lot of drivers don't really understand or want to do. You'll find people trying to block you from doing a move like that. So it's just an example of something I thought was wrong was actually right. Seven Dials in London is an interesting example of a what's been called a naked street or a shared space scheme. This is a, a place where, as you can see, there are no, there are very few traffic signs. Cars are moving at an incredibly slow speed. Pedestrians are walking here and there without really paying too much attention to what's going on around them. And uh, this sort of goes against what, for many years, was the traditional traffic calming ideology, which was pedestrians and cars need to be separated as much as possible. And it's all quite safe. The cars are moving very slowly. I don't know what the actual statistics are here, but believe me, if a lot of people had died, this space would not look like this now. There would be, they would have taken measures. So it's just an unorthodox kind of urban space that works well. What I'd like the reader to take away after reading traffic is, uh, number one, just to be a, a I hope a safer driver. I mean, the road fatalities are still the leading cause of death for at least middle-aged and younger people in the U.S. and many other countries worldwide. There's something like 1.5 million fatalities a year. Another issue is that a lot of the problems we see on the road we cause ourselves. Con congestion, some of that is caused simply by the way we drive. We accelerate too quickly, overreactions on brakes. When physicists actually examine traffic jams, they study the way these simple kind of overreactions cause these problems and if, lo and behold, if you could take humans out of the car and replace them with robotic cars, these problems would disappear. So we're not quite ready for that yet. So in the meantime, I think if we could just, you know, become conscious of the ways we could improve. Traffic by Tom Vanderbilt is out on August the 28th.